presence and Cisco Jabber. We will discuss here. So I am in presence is used for instant messaging and presence in which uh, the users can access instant messaging features through the Jabber client. Jabber client comes in different modes. We will discuss all of those starting with Cisco Jabber. Cisco Jabber is a suite of Cisco unified communication applications that allows seamless interaction with your contacts from anywhere. It offers instant messaging, presence, audio, video calling, voicemail and conferencing. It can perform all of those, but not by default. You have to uh, integrate different servers to be able to access all of these services. To offer such functionalities, Jabber has to be integrated with many additional Cisco third party components, like I just said. So that can be CUCM, I'm in present service, Cisco Unity Connection, LDAP Server, Exchange, Microsoft Exchange, and many more other third party components can also be integrated with IMN Presence. So Cisco IMN Presence service comprises many components that enhance the value of Cisco Unified Communication Solutions. It encompasses following of the solutions like IMN Presence service, UCM, Jabber, Unity Connection, LDAP server, collaboration voice and video endpoints, third party presence server, third party XMPP clients, and third party application. All right, now Cisco Jabber requires integration with CUCM and IMN presence servers to function properly, to access all of these information for call routing, to get information about the users, and their user profiles and all that. The integration is required between I'm in presence and CUCM. There are different protocols used for different access like SIP, Simple, CTI, QBE, and SOAP. These are the protocols. Between I'm in presence and CUCM for integration and communication. All right. And for I'm in presence service to be able to communicate with Jabber, the protocols used are XMPP and so. And the Jabber communicates with CUCM using CTI QB. Okay, so these are some protocols that are in use during communication between I'm in presence, CUCM, Jabber. Integration with Unity Connection. Now to get voicemail services also using Jabber, you have to integrate it with Unity Connection. So here we have CUCM uh, communicating with Jabber uh, using the protocols like we just discussed, right? So here some protocol like CTI, QBE for communication is used. For login, there is a configuration done. You have to configure a UC service on the CUCM for the Jabber to associate with the CUCM. And we can integrate with Unity Connection, which use IMAP as a protocol to access voicemail inbox. Now, Jabber client using, uses Unity Connection to retrieve voicemail. Unity Connection can be integrated with CUCM so that end users can access their voicemail box in the Jabber client, Cisco Jabber. Cisco Jabber voicemail integration uses IMAP to access the voicemail box, which provides the features like the users can access voice messages directly from the conversation history pane in the Jabber client. Users can play, delete messages with the integrated media player directly from Jabber client. Users can easily access presence and availability information about the voicemail caller in the Jabber client. The users can click or call to a person, start a web chat, video, or other multimedia session. So these are some advantages of these integrations. Also, we can integrate with conferencing servers like Cisco WebEx Meeting Server with Cisco WebEx Meeting Center to integrate with and to communicate between the Jabber and these WebEx clients or WebEx servers. The communication happens via HTTP and HTTPS. Jabber uses Cisco WebEx for its web conferencing capabilities. The web conferencing features of Cisco WebEx use HTTP as the transport protocol. Jabber uses meeting server, telepresence server, telepresence multi point control unit for audio video conferencing. Okay. 
also uh, an integration with LDAP is supported. So Cisco Unified CM, CUCM synchronizes and authenticates and search for contact information like uh, pictures, contact pictures. Photo retrieval can be done using LDAP. Okay, so user lookup, user authentication, photo retrieval, all that can be done through LDAP. Photo retrieval like uh, when we are using Jabber, we have the contact information, we have like the phone book where we see all those users and their contact details uh, and their picture that they can add there. And to that, uh, to receive that, to retrieve that also, the integration with LDAP is required. And specifically for the photo retrieval, the supported size of the photo is 128 is to 128 pixels. All right. Now, Cisco Jabber's uh, LDAP integrations enables you to search and add contacts from the directory. LDAP integration also provides authentication for Jabber clients users. Using LDAP, you can display user photos in Jabber. Now, another integration with Microsoft Exchange for calendar information. So Microsoft Exchange can be integrated with the IMAN Presence Server. It uses Microsoft Exchange for calendar integration and presence status. So for example, from the Outlook, if there are any meetings set or the user is busy at, at any particular time, so the calendar can be synchronized. Calendar information can be received using the Microsoft Exchange server on the IMAN presence server so that the Jabber client can review all that information from the uh, device itself from the Jabber client. This table shows the reachability mapping and how the IMAN presence service correlates the status of meetings as shown in the Outlook calendar. In the availability status of users, on the IMAN presence service. So in the Microsoft Outlook state, the options are these, which is just the correlation with this. This is how they, are, they appear in the IMAN presence service. So it's just the same state, or you would say the terms uh, are different. It's just the same thing. So if a user is free or the status is tentative, it will be shown as available in IMAN presence service state. Uh, if a user is busy, as for the Outlook state, it will be shown as in a meeting, right? If a user is out of office, it will show as away, away, is away. Yeah, in uh, so once the integration between IMAN presence and Microsoft Exchange is done, these are the statuses that it shows. IMAN presence service use Exchange web services to integrate with Microsoft Exchange. CUCM and IMN Presence Service Clusters. Now about CUCM uh, IMN Presence Service Clusters, the clustering is also available in IMN Presence. We know that in CUCM itself, we have IMN Presence capability. We can add uh, the IMN Presence within the CUCM also. But if you want separate C, uh, IMN Presence Cluster, we can do that as well. So this is a CUCM cluster sharing information with an IMN presence cluster. Now, this is one cluster. There is a concept of sub cluster in IMN presence. So within a cluster, we can configure sub cluster. So there is a sub cluster one, sub cluster two, right? Which is a part of this one IMN presence cluster. CUCM IMN presence service node is a subscriber server in the CUCM cluster. The IMAN presence service cluster still has its own publisher and subscriber server within the subcluster concept for high availability. Two clusters require configuration so that the Jabber client can register and work properly. An IMAN presence service supports clusters, uh, only a single CUCM cluster. Therefore, all presence users of IMAN presence service cluster must be defined within the same CUCM cluster. The IMAN presence service publisher node communicates directly with the CUCM publisher via the AXL API. So the publisher of IMAN presence communicates with the publisher of CUCM using the protocol AXL administrative XML API using SOAP interface. SOAP is simple object access protocol. 
Now, in IMAN presence service high, ability, high availability, IMAN presence relies on subcluster to provide high availability for Jabber client because we can only integrate uh, with CUCM cluster by one IMAN presence cluster. So for high availability, we have subclusters that we can form within the IMAN presence cluster. The IMAN presence service cluster consists of maximum of six servers, which can be configured into multiple subclusters. Maximum can be six. You can divide those into like a group of two. Okay, and a maximum of three subclusters. Right, that's why it is two, 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 three subclusters, and maximum can be six. It doesn't have to be six every time. It depends on the requirement. You can have four or just two without high availability. So this is the structure. A subcluster contains a maximum of two servers. You cannot have more than two servers in a subcluster to associate to one server of the subcluster and other as a failover or a backup. I'm in presence service does not provide failover between subclusters. So if one subcluster has failed due to any reason, it will not provide a failover. It will not uh, switch to the another subcluster. These are independent. We can use them for different users. One subcluster for a group of users and another for the other group of users. High availability setup in I'm in presence is active, active, active standby. So within a subcluster, the two servers can either be both active or one active and one standby. So in an active, active and active standby, how many number of users are supported? Let's see. So in an active standby structure, there are 15,000 users in total and 5,000 users are assigned to the first node of each subscriber. In active, active, there are 15,000 users, 2,500 users are evenly balanced across the six nodes. Okay, if all are active. I am in present service cluster supports a maximum of 75,000 users in full UC mode. So there are different modes in the clustering in I am in presence also. So 75,000 users are supported in full UC mode across three single I am in presence service nodes deployed with 25,000 user virtual machine configuration template, but with no high availability in full UC mode. High availability deployment for 75,000 users required three I'm in presence service clusters and subcluster pair that are deployed with 25,000 users VM configuration template option. Okay, here we can see two uh, pictures, one with high availability and other with no high availability. There's no high availability here and there is high availability here. So with, without high availability, it can support 75,000 users. That is called full UC mode using 25,000 user VM. Whereas in high availability, 75,000 users in full UC mode using 25,000 users per VM. Okay. Then there is a SIP federation deployment. How we can deploy I am in presence. Now, this is something uh, for high level discussion, but just for an overview for the course. I am in present service supports SIP federation with Microsoft systems, such as for uh, federation or like integration with Skype for business, on premises, or Office 365. Okay. So here we have an I am in present server. We have some expressway C and E to bypass the traffic as we have a DMZ zone here. We are connected to the internet and to the different sites. We have different applications being used. We have Microsoft Office 365. We have organization with Skype for business. We have WebEx Messenger. We have Cisco collaboration components and standard based XMPP services. So for these different types of integrations, different type of protocols used are XMPP and SIP. So that we can see here for Office 365, SIP is used. For Skype for business, SIP. For WebEx Messenger, XMPP. For uh, organization with Cisco collaboration components, XMPP. And standard based XMPP services like third party, XMPP. Then I'm in present service inter domain federation with Microsoft Link. Skype for business server provides basic presence available of a busy offline kind of status. 
and point to point instant messaging these are the use case of these inter domain federation between these different services and i am in presence the i am in presence service uses sip to federate with the application speed office 365 for business to business communication microsoft skype for business 2015 standard edition enterprise edition for business to business communication microsoft link 2010 2013 standard edition enterprise edition microsoft office communication server released these are different applications that are supported or that i am in presence service can use 